Hey guys, welcome to Easy Email Sender video tutorial. This is going to show you how to configure uh, our Easy Email platform. That way you can start sending out emails relatively quickly. So to get started, what you need to do is you need to look in your email, get the license key um, that we sent you, and then come up here to licensing, put your license key in there, press activate online. After it says successful activation, you need to close the box and uh, restart Easy Email Sender. Once that has been done, um, now you can come over here and we're going to do a couple things. Uh, number one, we're going to go over to aws.amazon.com. aws.amazon.com. And when you do, you need to sign up for a free AWS account. If you already have an existing AWS account, you can use that one or if you want to make a new one just for using with Easy Email Sender, you can do that too. So once you create uh, an AWS account, the next step is to come over to uh, aws.amazon.com forward slash SES. This is the simple email service that we're going to be subscribing to that Easy Email Sender APIs into the back of. And uh, what you need to do here is once you've already signed up, uh, for Amazon services you need to come right over here to number four request production access and what you want to do is you'll sign in and real simple fill this information out name uh, address phone number and then your website address I would highly suggest that you do not use a squeeze page or a lead capture page or you know uh, make a money online type biz -oppy type page um, you know, because they probably don't want to do business with that type of people. Um, so I put a regular blog here, a regular uh, you know website, something of that nature. When you get done, check all four of these boxes uh, that appear here, and um, you'll be good to go. Now, you'll hit submit, and within 24 hours, you should get an email saying congratulations, you have been approved for sending and now you'll be able to send email alright now that we have production access you need to go up to my console and then security credentials and when you do that you need to scroll down on the site until you see something called access key and secret key okay here's where you would take and copy your access key and then your secret key as well and put them over into uh, easy email center so what you can do is right click, press copy, take the key, go right back over into Easy Email Sender, press the Amazon SES configuration, paste your key inside here, paste your secret key. Once you do that, all you have to do is hit log on, and now uh, our system will be hooked up with Amazon. Once you do this, uh, the next step is pretty easy we're gonna go over to mail.google.com once here you need to create a new account create a new account fill out all this information and uh, go throughout all the steps once you have that account created and you're good to go you need to sign in now once you have signed in you need to come over to this little gear and go to settings and we need to adjust a few things right here what you need to do is scroll down to you see conversation view and what we're going to do is we're going to select conversation view is set to off when you get done you need to scroll down hit save changes okay don't forget to hit save changes and then come over right over here to forwarding and pop when you come over to forwarding and pop you need to make sure enable IMAP is on enable IMAP whenever you do that you need to scroll down hit save changes and now your Gmail account is configured once you do this go to your inbox there will be a couple uh, emails that are in there you can delete those out alright now it's time to come right back over into Amazon EES and we need to configure our bounce and opt-out email account so that's why we set up a gmail account you need to put your gmail username and password here so that would be your gmail address and password 
and then hit save. Because here's how the system works. If you get a complaint or if an email bounces that you send out or if somebody wants to opt out to your system, what happens is that goes to your Gmail account and what we will do is we'll come right in here we will scroll down where it says import Amazon bounces complaints and opt-outs and we'll hit the button and what it will do is bring all those emails into easy email sender adding them to your database of opt-outs bounces complaints etc okay now anything on these lists easy email sender will not send out any longer now we have a cool blacklist feature here if you want to manually add a feature to the blacklist or the opt-out you guys can do so now that we configured your Gmail um, we're pretty much set up or we're ready to go we put our licensing in there we got to hook to Amazon we have our Gmail account hooked up in there to get our, our bounces and opt-outs once they grant you production access and they will send you out an email the next step we need to do is verify uh, uh, an email account so if you press this button here you will now have the ability to add an email address and what you could do is you can add any email address that you want to send from press save and once you do it it will say congratulations you've added this successfully a link has been set to your email address so go to the email address you just typed in check that email address because Amazon is going to send you a link okay Amazon's gonna send you a link and you must verify that email address as a real email address and once you do you can come over here hit refresh and now it will pop into your list of sending addresses that you can send from all right once this has been done now you can close that now it's time to set up your first email campaign we're gonna press email campaign and you can see right here from the wizard uh, put your campaign name I'm just gonna put test hit the next button and here's where you would put your subject line the from name and what you would do here is pick what name out of your verified email address that you just verified that you want to send from and then put the reply to now the reply to email should be the gmail account that you set up a while ago the gmail account you set up to a while ago in this next field you will put your name and address here that way um, uh, you can comply with the can spam act and they know who is actually delivering uh, this email message to them. We'll just make up uh, an address here. And that will be your address in the footer. I'm going to hit next and now you see that here is where we want to type our email now you could use our editor which will allow you to um, type text messages like hey did you get this then you could use tokens uh, as you see below you could use these tokens of first name last name full name or uh, and opt out so I'm gonna put first name hey did you get this and then it will interject their first name alright and then now down here in the footer we can put our opt-out form okay this is where our opt-out is gonna go and that footer once you have this done you can hit save or you can edit this in HTML if you hit HTML that's how it is in HTML 
and uh, if not you can hit save and now save that to your desktop I'm just gonna call it demo and now once you have it all edited up you can load what you want to send and we're gonna load that file right back up and now that is going to be the HTML file that gets sent we would hit next here's where you can send a single email test to yourself that way you can see if the email is formatted properly and make sure everything is going through I'll hit the next button and now is when we upload our list our CSV file um, note that this is really important your CSV file must contain these headers exactly uppercase and lowercase all right and the only one that is required is email address and it has to be in the first column okay I'll show you a sample of this here in one second so um, I'm gonna come over to my Excel file that I made for you guys and now you'll see that I put an email address and a first name an email address and a first name so I'm gonna import that file real quick it's called test and I'm gonna save and close this campaign and you can see that it's just created just like that now this is ready to send all you have to do from here on is press send your emails will go out immediately and once they do you'll get confirmation and uh, you'll be good to go and now you can see that the email campaign has sent now that is how you successfully configure Amazon SES and send out your first campaign to get some stats you can look at your email statistics and you could see uh, you know delivery attempts bounces complaints rejects total failed total delivered okay now let's talk real, real quick about uh, how fast and how many emails you can send when you first are granted production access you can send out 10,000 per 24 hours and a max of emails of 5 per second as you send out more and more emails they will ramp your services up you can see I'm at 50,000 and 14 a second it took me about three emails to get here okay of sending out 10 11,000 at a time um, you can ramp up very very easy very very fast uh, with the system all right if you guys have any questions feel free to put a support ticket in at plc.zendesk.com or Skype us which is the easiest at PLC support that is our Skype name PLC support or always you can call our phone number at 314-473-5143 and we'd be happy to help you guys out happy blasting guys go out there and uh, let's do it